this one's gonna be on a spell it's a command line spell checking program so make sure you installed um what is that um a spell now you have to install the um program and so also the uh dictionary so this is the main program a spell and then you have these other ones like a spell d e E N E S for like Spanish, English, and German here. You can install multiple dictionaries if you want. If, like let's say you speak more than one language or whatever. So for our example here, I installed it uh, English and Spanish, and uh, we can use either one. Okay. So after you have that, now this first example, this one's just for single words. Okay. So just one word. Um, let's do this here. You can do this, you do echo and then the word that you want. Let's say we type in pipi or something. And then pipe it into a spell. If I spell a spell, right? Uh, dash a. Now, if you if it's in English, you don't have to do, you know, a dash l cuz English is the default already. But let's say you want to use this in Spanish, you do a dash l for language. And your ES for Spanish, and you see that this one, you know, will tell you uh, some suggestions that they have for the word. And these are in Spanish words, I believe. Um, if you want it in English, you can do EN, right? But English is the default anyway, so you don't have to type in that part, you can just type in that, and it'll give you the same results. So if you speak um, anything else, besides English then you have to do a dash L otherwise English is the default already now that's one way to do it for single words another way to do it I've seen people do um, a spell dash a and then to do two three and then the word that you want let's say we did uh, poopy at the beginning right so same results but you notice it looks different right that's about it. Uh, and if it's, you want it in a different language, you still have to do, uh, the, let's say this one we want it in Spanish, you do ES here. And it should give you the Spanish results here for those suggestions. So that's one way for a single word. Okay. Now, if you want to do this for, let's say, a file or something like that, let me give you uh, some examples here. So this one is in uh, English, so we just copy this sucker here. And we'll create a file. So we'll say ENG or something, dot text, All right? Actually, we'll play uh, English news, dot text there. And we'll paste this sucker in, and we'll save it here. So we have a file, uh, English news here. And we do, uh, if you want to uh, just list it out, you can do cat and the file that we are using. So it's ENG news. And you can pipe into, let me do the pipe sign here, pipe into a spell, right? Um, and if you want to just list it, you can do list. And if it's ready in English, you don't have to do a dash L, but let's say in this example, we do a dash L here and an EN for English. And basically, it'll try to list out all the words that it thinks that is wrong in here, all right? If you just wanna look at it real quick. Uh, otherwise, if you want to interactively uh, check it, you can do a spell, um, and then you do check. Again, we'll just put a dash L uh, for language in here. You don't have to do it for English, but We'll just do it for here, okay? And we'll put in that file. So basically, it'll pop up this sucker here. We'll make this bigger here. Uh, and what it does is it'll give you a suggestions at the bottom here, right? These options here. So you can tell it, oh, do you mean, instead of gens, you can do, you mean genas? So let's say we do want, we want uh, gene or something for number two, okay? So you hit two. And it changes that word to gene. And in school wide, is there a space in between it or uh, you know a dash in between it or whatever? Let's say we'll do um, number two. And you know, you get the on so on and so forth. If you want to ignore it, you hit the uh, I here, 
So you hit I and it ignores it. Let's say uh, you want to replace uh, this word here, okay? So you can do R for replace, and let's say we call it uh, Kello or something. Enter, and um, we'll put ignore for that one because we changed it to one that we want. And this one was it says castmates or is it two words or dash or whatever? We'll say number one or something. And uh, the rest would just say ignore all uh, with the capital I here. And um, what is this here? Did we ignore all? I think so. Let's see here, shift and I. There we go. So that's all it does. And once you do all that, it'll actually make a backup of the original one. The original one is now uh, has a dot BAK here. And this is your new one, right? So that's it. That's how you would uh, do that. Now let's try this for the other language, Spanish. Got a Spanish one here. It's pretty much the same thing. Let's see here. Copy this sucker. And we'll make a new file and we'll call this span news.txt. And we'll paste that sucker in here. We'll save it and uh, we should have the Spanish one there so you pretty much do the same thing cat um, was that uh, Spanish now if you want to see here a spell um, what do we do list and if you want to do it in Spanish you do a dash L and then ES for Spanish and basically it'll list out you know just the ones uh, that it thinks is wrong or whatever um, so that's it uh, for that one now if you want to check it um, that we did like before you can do a spell or the a spell and we do check dash l e s for spanish and then the file that we want we want the file spanish news here and basically it'll do the interactive stuff again all right so is it uh was that W? Was that U F W? Let's say we say it's UFO or something. Two. Um, what is this one? I don't really know Spanish that much. Let me see here. We'll do ignore, ignore. Actually, we'll do ignore all. There we go. And now we have the files. Let um, me clear this here. So we have the original files, uh, which are the B, A, K, and the new ones that we replaced it with. That's pretty much it for a spell. Uh, go ahead and use it. Should be in your repositories for every distribution out there. That'll be it for this one.